Now, Spiro had been at the top of the STEM product game now for quite some time, bringing us some amazing products like Sphero Indie and Sphero Bolt. And kept to mention Sphero Bolt, here is the new Bolt Plus. Now, what's new about it? What makes it plus? Well, let's go into those features right now. First things first, power management. They have made some brilliant changes and brilliant upgrades to the battery in the Sphero Bolt Plus. This now lasts a full school day. So we don't have to worry at lunchtime to put it back on charge. It will see us through to the end of the day. They have also changed the technology in their chargers. We now have QI wireless charging for more efficient charging to get it up to speed and to get these ready for the next school day. Feature number two is shake to wake. It will wake up your bolt. You'll know immediately which one yours is because it presents itself with a serial number and you are good to go. If your bolt falls asleep due to inactivity, shake it to wake it and you're good to go again. Now another feature that the Bolt Plus has over the Bolt Original is this new LCD screen. The Bolt used to have an LED light matrix which was fantastic and you could create some cool animations but this takes it to a whole new level. You can see you can get some really cool animations on the top to personalize your own device. You can add some character to it. You can show the direction in which, it, which is heading as well. And there are lots more animation blocks in which children and teachers can explore in their teaching. Now, because of the hardware changes, we've now got some software changes, which is brilliant. You can see we now have a lot more coding blocks to play with in our lessons. For example, we've now got a roll block where we can set the actual distance of the Bolt Plus to, to travel. We have an awesome little block, which do not underestimate its power. That drive on is the way in which you can turn manual drive on, but still run your code in sequence, which we've never been able to do before. We could either drive it for fun or we can code. But now we're bringing those two worlds together and we can manually drive and code at the same time. That's huge. We've obviously then got the display animations and there are far more to choose from. And then we've got diff different event blocks. So we can now make the Bolt Plus do something in particular based on its lighting, its total distance, if a certain button is pressed or after a period of time. These will be awesome in lessons. So there you have it. That's the new Bolt Plus and its awesome new features. If you have your hands on these little beauties already, why don't you like, follow and comment on this video and share how you're currently using the new features in this little device. Love to hear from you soon. Thank you.